Okay, this is a test. So let us prove the work energy theorem for a single particle, starting from the definition for work. Work is equal to the integral from x1 vector to x2 vector of f, which is a vector force dotted with the displacement dr. Now, note that f can be written as m times the derivative of velocity with respect to time by momentum principle and also by chain rule we can write that dr is equal to dr dt times dt and plugging both of these into the definition for work gives work is equal to the integral from now t1 to t2 since t is our differential of m dv dt dotted with dr dt times dt but we note again that dr dt is the definition for the velocity v and so this can now be rewritten as the integral from t1 to t2 of m times dv dt dotted with velocity dt but notice that the derivative with respect to time of the quantity v squared over 2 is equal to v dot dv dt. So now carrying over this point we can write that the work is equal to the integral from we say e1 to e2 of the derivative of mass times the derivative with respect to time of the quantity e dt where e is defined by the quantity one half v squared We'll make this an E tilde, and hence W is equal to the integral of E1 to E2 of the derivative of E, where now E no tilde is defined as 1 half mv squared. And so W is equal to, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, E2 minus E1, which is the same as 1 half m v2 squared minus 1 half m v1 squared. Hey, Patty. And hence, this is the change in the kinetic energy of a particle and thus work energy theorem holds. Oops, okay. So, done. Let's see how this works.